Hello and welcome to my community on Afrocentric Television Channel 27.9. My name is Kolawale Akimoyiwa and I am your host today. You know, this is that station that revolves around the Africans in diaspora, especially those of us in the Houston area. You know, here we change the narrative, we bring you live events and stories that resonate with your being without you having to hand the pen to others to write your story. Today with me in the studio, we are going to be talking about uh, a word that we just recently concluded in May, and um, we'll bring you some highlights, and we're going to be talking to one of the recipients. The recipient is not ordinary, not to me, not to the studio, but you know, to the Houston, not just Houston, but to the world in totality, because a lot of people uh, watch this, this program online. I'm here to introduce to you once again, and I will, this time I'm not going to do a lot of introduction, but I'll let you, I'll let him introduce himself and tell us much more about things we probably does not even know yet. Right. Mm -hmm. So, welcome to the studio, sir, Pastor Henry Odene. Thank you very much for having me, sir. It is always a pleasure mm -hmm. and honor to thank you be with you to share the space with you to start with because i know um i know in the past i've heard a pastor from the redeemed christian church of god say if jesus was sitting protocol will not allow mm -hmm. um no it says if pastor adibuyo was sitting protocol may not even allow jesus to get to him mm -hmm. you know it, it says a lot and that thing i've held on mm -hmm. to you are a very humble man mm -hmm. you know you. accessible um to many especially those in the older generation um they watch and see you and they join you globally from asia from europe you sure. know the uk um from africa especially mm -hmm. and um you've you've managed through the work of god to change lives Amen. um you know through the ministry can you tell us you know different ministries that is under the one I know the most is the Dark Drew Prayer That's true. Ministry and it's prayer. Like That's when true. they say the ministry <laughs> is prayer ministry, that means it, it's it's about prayers. That's true. Right? And then you pray uh, in a local dialect. That's true. I know that's a major gift, by the mm. way. When you transition from English <laughs> to Yoruba. That's right. And it's direct. That's right. You know, so I am... Um, I, I, I need to, you know, I, I need to tell us about the Dark Drew Prayer Ministry mm -hmm. and then the other ministries that are under that. Mm -hmm. Thank well, you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure coming in into the studio as usual. Um, my name is Henry Odeneye <laughs> and I am a pastor. Uh, uh, okay, I was going to say, you didn't say my name is Pastor and that's take notes, <laughs> take notes because this man speaks. Yeah, that's right. He, he didn't say my name is Pastor. It's, you know, he didn't say my name is Apostle. But you say my name is Henry Odeneye. Yeah, because you asked of my name. My name is Henry Odeneye. <laughs> I'm a pastor with the Apostolic Church. I was ordained by the Apostolic Church as a pastor. And in the course of the uh, fulfillment of my calling, the Lord was very specific. He told me I should do the ministry, uh, carry on the ministry in the native language, of, uh, to in Yoruba language. So I had to seek the consent of my principal ministry church, the Apostolic Church. I was born in the Apostolic Church, raised in the Apostolic Church. My mother left the world in deepness with the Apostolic Church. And of course, the Apostolic Church started from my grandfather's house uh, in Ilashe. It's now a district center now. So, and they gave me the consent. The authority said, yes, go ahead. And we are not going to allow Yoruba to be used as a only language to minister in our church so as not to hurt the feelings of many of us mm. but uh, as god will have it they gave me the consent and i started the ministry the ministry is harvest point ministries under the umbrella of harvest point ministry we have yoruba christian fellowship we have dagundro prayer family dagundro prayer family was the first step we took to us using Yoruba language to minister. We had a program, three days program on a monthly basis. Then gradually, there was the need for people to congregate on Sundays to uh, worship. 
and pray in their native language, Yoruba language. So that now encouraged us, and we had to start Yoruba Christian Fellowship, oh, wow. a Sunday program. And we designed it in such a way that it will not hinder anyone who has a principal church, you have a main church you want to worship, you can come at 8.30, worship with us by to 10 o'clock. Most churches start their service at 10.30. Then right. you can then have your program in Yoruba with us and then go back and do your worship in, in English. It is the belief that, in fact, globally it is accepted that no language is the de determinant of standard or civilization. That mm -hmm. is why in the United Nations, if you get to the United Nations and you say you cannot speak English, no, they will interpret it into your native language. Right. So also it is when it comes to the worship of God. English language is common, is popular, but it should not be determinant of the quality of our worship to God. The book of Zephaniah made it very clear, chapter 3, verse 9. He said, I will purify their language that they will worship me with one concept, mm. in one concept. So we have taken Yoruba language and we're using it to worship our God. We are not going to allow the language to be demonized. Those who worship Ifa could use the language. I have, we have nothing against it. The Muslims can use the language Yoruba. But we Christians should be, believe that that language is ours and we use it to worship our God. That's why we have it. And in the course of that, God has been very, very magnanimous. And because we pursued this I, the idea of ministry in the Yoruba language, did you know that some other things had come out that had been of benefit to the community? And I know that we interest you as a television station who has the interest of the community in mind. We started with the area of educating those who have the illiterate but they are literate in their native language in their language mm. there are many of our mothers and our fathers who are very fluent in yoruba they can read yoruba they can uh, write yoruba but they are not too good in english you dare not call people like that illiterate mm. because if you call them illiterate then give the yoruba bible or the yoruba literature to a person who is also fluent in english if you cannot read it, then you can also address that person. That's that's well. So anytime the government comes out with any program, like the COVID-19 program, mm. we interpret the mm -hmm. publications into Yoruba language. And whatever the government says, we interpret in Yoruba language and go out to disseminate the information down to our people, the elderly ones. And in the course of the COVID-19, we even took the elderly ones out in buses to make sure that they got their shots. We didn't know the government was observing it. Mm. So <laughs> we've got our first award from the mayor of Houston, 2013. The mayor of Houston gave us proclamation and they declared December 6 as Yoruba Day, mayor of Houston. And then October 2023, the Congress of America gave us congressional recognition. These are all based on the fact that we use Yoruba language to enter into the community, to educate people, also to give room for cross-cultural development. And then, of course, you all you knew your television, knew about the presidential award we just got uh, about two months ago, the presidential award for voluntary service. So uh, the use of Yoruba language to minister has helped us in a number of ways. Aside from winning souls, it has helped us to read the community and to, be, for, to the benefit of the particular, the senior citizens. The crown of it is this. Little did we know that you can use your, nat your native language to test for citizenship. Mm. Any, yes, anyone who is 60, any qualified candidate who is 65 years and above, can use his native language, local language, to test for citizenship. And we did that, we checked it, and we confirmed it. Our first candidate was Mama Ojeyinka. I will not forget the name of this woman. She was her first candidate. She passed her citizenship test in Yoruba language. All he passed it in Yoruba language, clearly. And ever since then, we have nine candidates passing. Right now, as I'm talking to you, we have three candidates. We are tutoring now. For their uh, to take their uh, citizenship test in Yoruba language. 
that is mm -hmm. beautiful i love that i love that thank you so much for what you do in the community um which is what is going to lead me to the next question and you did mention it during mm -hmm. the award show um you were honored you yes. know afrocentric um to god be the glory Amen. afrocentric um tv station we were given the uh, mandate to honor those within our community that we didn't fit and you know with the uh with your background and the ministry and things you have done in the community mm -hmm. with the support that you've always given us in the studio at uh, afrocentric television um you were honored at Thank the uh, yes. ahead awards uh, yes. which was held in may that's right um that is the uh afrocentric honor for excellence in the diaspora mm -hmm. And it was a well-deserving award. And Thank you, you very much. You were one of the honorees. Yes. And then you went home with the Presidential Volunteer Service Award. That's true. Signed by President Biden, Biden. himself. That's true. And, um, you know, that, that gives us pride, mm -hmm. you know, to know that there are people in our community that are doing the work that the Lord has set them to do. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people that are deserving of it as well. Mm -hmm. And then I'm um, glad that Afrocentric was given that mandate to mm -hmm. present to, to our people. How does that affect or, or in, you know, not never adversely, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, but how does that affect your ministry? Um, one thing I like about awards in this part of the world is that no, you cannot lobby for it. Mm -hmm. You cannot bribe your way through. I, I, I thank God for the fact that Afrocentric took the time, the pain, to do their due diligence. When I was called upon and I was told that we qualify for that, I, I asked the director, how did you come about? He said, that's the way we go about it. We will take our time, we will examine what the contribution of every institution, and we will only qualify, suggest, and give you the award on the basis of your work. So I want to say thank God for that. And I, it, it will only encourage us to do more. Mm. It will encourage us to do more. We are looking forward to a situation where we are going to establish an institution where our children will be able to learn Yoruba language. You, you will probably not believe that 64 universities in the United States of America have in their curriculum Yoruba language. How many? 64. In the States? Yes, United States, they teach Yoruba language for anyone who is interested in the Yoruba language. And unfortunately, they call, we, we parents call Yoruba language, we, we say vernacular. Vernacular, <laughs> if you look at the dictionary meaning of vernacular, it is demeaning mm. to call your native language vernacular. Uh, no vernacular in this house. And unfortunately, some Nigerian Children will come all the way from Nigeria. They come in here and they cannot speak one language in Yoruba language. And well, there are camps now where you, you you bring your children. You pay tons of money to learn the language. The language our grandmothers would have given us free of charge. If we are not careful, the United Nations UNESCO counted Yoruba as one of the language that is subject to extinction. If we are not careful. Hmm. And, um, Brazil is asking Nigeria to bring lecturers from Nigeria to come and teach them Yoruba in Brazil. Uh, so uh, I, I am happy that with this award, it will encourage us to do more, to do more, to affect the community, to reach the community in the area of cross-cultural development. Thank you so much for that, that breakdown. It, it means a lot to me personally, to the studio, mm -hmm. and of course to our viewers. Um, and next question, you you would realize that this week that we are in, um, Sunday is going to be Father's Day. That's true. Um, that's a, a holiday we don't celebrate <laughs> as such in America. If it was Mother's Day, um, mm. you, as a matter of fact, they have different days for Mother's Day in Africa and Europe and in America. <laughs> yes, right. uh, but Father's Day is just one, and then uh, even that one is not very well pronounced. Right. Uh, we don't get as much sales as we would if we were Mother's Day. Mm. We um, don't get as much recognition as we, we should. You know, I, I think that's what I believe anyway. Um, but yes, so what are your thoughts about, you know, celebrating fathers? And, you know, I would need you to also let us know uh, what you think about being a father 
and mm. just being you know a baby daddy mm. or just being a man you know thank you very much um celebration does not just happen mm. as something provokes sponsors celebration i was at a funeral last weekend and i was asked to pray to say something about the woman who went to be with the lord and i made a remark about that woman i said the woman had two wombs mm. with the first womb she carried her baby for nine months immediately the baby came out of that first room she did open the door of the second room and deposited the baby there and that is the heart and she kept the baby there forever they will celebrate mothers because mothers will do things that will provoke the children to celebrate them my children celebrate me mm. the world will not celebrate me as a as far as well as the, my children celebrate me as much as they celebrate their mother because I make sure that I assume the responsibility of a father indeed. No one carries title without it, attached responsibilities. The Bible said the fathers are the head of the home, mm. as Christ is the head of his church. We are the head indeed, but Christ is the head of the home. Therefore, we should carry out everything in line with the dictates of the Holy Spirit. The head carries the eyes, the ears, and the mouth. We must see ahead for our family. We must be the missionaries of our family. The Bible said our wives as our help meet to help us. You must have a vision. Place the vision for the woman to help you. Most men, unfortunately, have mm. no vision. So the woman will sit down and say, Bring your vision, let me help you. You have no vision. Then the woman will start to do something on her own. The next thing you want to do, you are accusing her of do, doing business or her building a house or no, because you are not presenting any vision. I want to challenge fathers. We are the eyes. See for the family. Mm -hmm. Wake up ahead of time. See ahead of time. Say, come. I uprooted grown up trees from Nigeria, transplanted them in America, and there was no regret. When we, trans we moved from Nigeria to America, my children were adult. Uprooting a, a, a grown up tree. If you transplant nursery, the chances of the, the 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 nursery becoming a tree is higher than uprooting a, a tree. I uprooted the tr trees, transplanted them in America. They are they grew up to be great. I am very proud of my children okay. because I saw ahead as the, the visionary. I have ears. I hear from the Lord, and I give my family direct direction, divine direction. Mm. I speak on behalf of my children. I protect them with prayers. I speak to the Lord about my children and my wife. Fathers should wake up. We should wake up. Mm. We should wake. If you want to be celebrated, then assume the responsibility of a father indeed. Uh, we have a program coming up a day before Father's Day on the 15th of this month where we want to call all fathers, sit down with your sons. The Bible said we are made in the image of God. Let us, the Bible said in the book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 19, it said, it said as face. And try to face. Open the Bible. The Bible is the water of life. Look at yourself. The image you see of yourself in the Bible mm. is your true identity. Mm. Many of our children are taking the identity of celebrities. Let mm. me give you an example. Yes. <clears throat> in fact, they call them idols at times. <laughs> yes, you're right. They call them idols. And you dare not talk of idol. Jesus Christ, our Lord God Almighty, is the only one you should serve. So we want to bring our children together, bring them back to their original image as created by God. Don't follow any celebrity. Don't enter any idol. Your picture is as painted in the, the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 17. He said, I came in the volume of a book that is made of me to do the will of God, to do the will of God. So we want to bring our children together, introduce them to, to God, let them give their heart my son, give me your heart. That's it. Let our sons give God their heart. The moment they give God their heart, whatever they do is directed from the heart. So uh, they will celebrate us if we do things, if we provoke right. things, if we sponsor mm. celebration. Thank you for that breakdown. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank so, you, sir. Um, <sighs> now I'm challenged. 
to do even better. I'm a very, very good father that I know for good, very far. Good. <laughs> but, you know, I'm challenged to even do better. So the program is going to be on the 15th. 15th, yes. Uh, 10 a.m. at Yad Dagudro Worship Center. Where is that? Uh, Dagudro, 8001 South Kekudro, Houston, Texas. And it is free. South, South Kekudro. At 10 o'clock in the 10 morning. 10 o'clock in the morning. Saturday. Yes, Saturday. All right. So you heard it. You know, there's a reason why... Uh, pastors call Pastor Deney the pastor of pastors. <laughs> you know, you, you can testify to that now. Um, just, you know, with the little time we're spending with him today, I feel blessed already. Thank you. I'm sure you are as well. Thank you. And you can tell it is so um, well deserving of um, that the Dagundro ministry, uh, for all they have done in the community, to deserve that award mm -hmm. that we bestowed upon them. Thanks to the president um, of the United States of America, uh, President Biden, for Given us the mandate to to honor this um this beautiful services that um you know the people are rendering in the community and I'm glad that you are a recipient. Thank you very you much, and I, I feel so happy so, to associate so myself with your television station. So so I appreciate the honor. So Father's Day is coming up, guys. Father's Day is coming up. It's going to be Sunday. Sunday, um, I think is the sixteenth mm -hmm. of June, twenty twenty four. You know, whatever it is you're doing wrong, and it's time to correct that. It's time to do something. It's time to do right, you know, by your family, your wife, your children. And it's time to have a rethink of, um, you know, if you have swayed in any way, you know, you know, it's time to come back, you know, and find your place in Christ, you know. It's, uh, it's the foundation, the solid one. That's right. I said earlier, I said you're uprooted, mm -hmm. you know, that's because the foundation is already laid. And mm -hmm. I said the ones that are, Seedlings could easily be planted or replanted, mm -hmm. you know. So we we take keynotes from these um words coming from you know powerful men such as uh, Pastor Dene, mm -hmm. and we just want to say a huge thank you to thank you very much for having me in our studio one more time. Thank you very I appreciate. much. Appreciate you know. Anytime I get to share a space with you, there's this thing that I always request, mm -hmm. and you know, with I still very short, but I I I want you to just say a word or to to fathers that are struggling. You know, okay. sometimes um. It may look like the man is not doing much, but mm -hmm. it could be the other way around that is trying everything possible good, mm -hmm. but it's just going to make it. That's right. You know, for hearts that are hurting, for mm -hmm. uh, those that are seeking forgiveness from their spouses or children, for those that are lost, that are trying to find their way back, mm -hmm. um, for those that just need, you know, uh, to be better. Mm -hmm. You know, we just say a word or two of prayer. Okay, sir. Lives, so it's, that's it in their lives. You know, while we're here on, on live on TV for anyone who's watching. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for giving us the honor to share. You are the father of fathers. You are Father God Almighty. And you share this title with us. We pray for all fathers. Unction for us to take up our responsibility afresh. Grant it to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. The resources for us to do it. Lord, open the doors for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are the eyes, we are the ears, we are the mouth of our family. The Bible said if any man fails to take responsibility over his wife and his children, he has denied faith and an infidel is better than him. Mm -hmm. We don't want that situation, Lord. We pray that spiritual resources, material resources to carry out our responsibilities as fathers granted to us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We also want to be celebrated that as they celebrate our mothers. Lord, give us the unction to do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. The most important thing is to grant our children, train our children, and put their path on the path of salvation. We pray, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, give us the courage to bring our children. Give them that conviction. The Bible said Abraham gave other servant gift, that he gave Isaac what made him Abraham. Lord, give us the grace to be able to realize the importance of giving our children conviction, giving them, leading them to salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. We pray for this studio. They, they are doing fantastic work for the expansion of the growth of the community. This studio shall continue to go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you Amen. so, Jesus so name. much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for so guys, uh, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. I still have one more guest coming, and it's, you know, it's going to be a fascinating moment. Mm -hmm. uh, please stay tuned, and uh, we'll be right back. Thank you.
Hello and welcome back to my community on Afrocentric TV channel 27.9. My name is Kola Wale Akinmuyua. I have to say that like, and I feel proud as a Yoruba man now. You know, I have to say that like a Yoruba man proper, Kola Wale Akinmuyua. As you know, this is that station that revolves around the Africans in diaspora, especially those of us here in the Houston area, and by extension, the United States. Remember, we just concluded on one segment of the show today. Uh, we talked about, you know, the awards, um, uh, the the community, and also the significance of a father in our lives or in the lives of the children. Um, our next guest, you know, is one is not a stranger to the studio. By the way, I'll let y'all know that. We've known um, each other for a while, and um, but, you know it's always good. And this is one of the things I love most about what we do at Alpha Centric Television. You know the synergy, the uh, partnership that we form, the alliance that we form with people, with organizations, with individuals, with um, you know just to come together to give you the best of the best in the african community and this man is no stranger to that as a matter of fact he's been an ardent supporter he's been a good friend and an awesome partner and oof, did i support her earlier yes a fantastic supporter i will say and join me to welcome mr coyote adiola toriola welcome to our studio thank you so much thanks for having me um did I tell y'all he is the publisher of the Elegance magazine? The Elegance is E L E G A N T Z at the end magazine. He's also a blogger and a freelance journalist. Then I mentioned that you know if you see the way he's dressed, you can tell oh, uh, freelancers don't dress like bloggers don't dress like this. Yes, of course he is a banker. He is a banker. Yeah, by profession as well he's a banker. You know, welcome to our show today, sir. Thank you so much. Welcome. Um, Mr. Kola. You're very much welcome. Uh, so yeah, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. And I want to appreciate you once again for giving me this great opportunity. Uh, my name again is Kayo De Adeola Toriola. So uh, like uh, the host rightly introduced me, I'm the publisher of The Elegance Magazine, uh, a social event and entertainment uh, brand uh, in the city of Houston, which focuses on celebrating Africans in diaspora, promoting our culture and heritage, and also uh, also try to uh, showcase accomplished and upcoming Nigerians in diaspora. Uh, the Elegance is a brand that, uh, I mean, came as a result of uh, my experience uh, while I was a toddler. I would say a toddler. Yeah, so I, was, <laughs> I was still very young uh, when the idea of being a speaker, being a writer, metamorphosed. Uh, back in the days, uh, I'm talking of over forty-five years of wow. I mean, uh, experience. You know, oh, in terms of know. yeah. So and and I started writing when I was I mean about sixteen in secondary school back then. So. Uh, it, it has been a great journey, so to say. Uh, I just said this dream that I had from my childhood must not die. And uh, that was why when the opportunity presented itself, I embraced it without wasting time. So I write, I, I speak, and <laughs> I also uh, publish. So um, your journey uh, so far from what you just said is synonymous to um, that of our uh, CEO, Mr. Wale. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the president, has, he has this vision to birth this, and he's been doing this since he was in Nigeria, mm -hmm. even prior to moving to the States. And, wow. and that was one of the reasons why when, I, when we saw what he was doing, and mm -hmm. it's something that we admire, something that we anticipate, uh, we just felt like, why reinvent the wheel? You know, let's come together wow. um, and do this. And he was very, very uh, welcoming and um, accommodated the idea. He's open to ideas. And, you know, we, we started doing doing this. And, you know, he started with a, you know, a group of maybe a friend or, or so. And then um, 
then they rebranded into we started as i think my vineyard television and then i think prior to that there was another name and but when i joined it was already um afrocentric television which the name alone afrocentric television is what i resonated with and then what they do in the community and then you know then it became then you know we vested in it and boom here we are today and looking at the um elegance magazine you know from what you had just said you said you started when you were when you, these are your when you were an infant <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um <clears throat> how has the journey been though for you you know being able to given that i, I don't know how it might have been in nigeria mm. but um here in the states we don't really get the support we need from the African community mm, itself. Mm, mm. But, you know, for you to still be standing, um, how has the journey been for you? You know, having to write, having to get content, mm, you know, how then to publish, you know, how has the journey been? Well, uh, that, that's a very, I mean, good question, mm -hmm. but a very wide question it is wide. that we yeah. can't conclude today. <laughs> so, but I would just, I mean, take the major part of it right. uh, for the purpose of this uh, uh, interaction mm -hmm. today. And I want to, first and foremost, before I delve into the details of my journey so far, as far as the Elegance brand is concerned, uh, let me use this medium to appreciate this phenomenal organization, the Afrocentric TV. Thank you. As a matter of fact, I, I mean, since we got to know one another, I mean, individually and as, as brands, I, I, I want to appreciate God uh, because, uh, you know, it's not what you know that matters, but the people that you know mm. sometimes. Because uh, I, I remember one of my uh, uh, managers while I was in my banking career back home, who would tell me that Prof, which was the name they gave me, <laughs> say, Prof, you are so intelligent, you are so this, you are so that, but uh, you need to... I mean, improve on relationship management, you know. So, in fact, it was the man that even, uh, mm. I mean, and helped me to become a relationship manager. I used to be at the back. I just love doing my thing. Just in one you know, corner, collect money, thing. give uh, pay money, mm -hmm. do my credit, and uh, give mm -hmm. loans and every and overdraft. So, but he saw that I mean, quality in me, and he said, "Wow, you, you." This time, I took you out to go and meet customers. I saw the way you always engage them the way you offer sales and marketing initiatives and strategies, that if you can, I mean, blend that with a little bit of relationship and interpersonal skills, that you are going to be a top-notch relationship management. Mm. And that is where the money is there back then in Nigeria. And you will get a lot of exposures and get to know great people. And that was how I, 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 I embraced that. And I mean, uh, with my almost 16 years in, in service in Nigeria, from First Bank to Guarantee Trust Bank, to Diamond Access, I, I've always been a relationship manager or branch head, you know. So I want to appreciate Afrocentric for giving me the opportunity to even uh, having this synergy and collaboration, which is really helping our brand also, uh, both brands, I would yes, say. Yes. Because since we got to know each other and, and I started participating in your programs, each, each time I, I come for your program and I put it on our blog, I could see the comments, I could see the likes, Thank you. you understand. So, I mean, that is helping your brand, it's helping our brand right. too, you know. So, coming back to the journey, it has been rough. Mm. I must come. There is, no, <laughs> there is no day saying, denying the fact that it has been rough. Tell me about it. Because, the, you know, initially we faced the challenge of Oh, you want to be doing print magazine? I mean, everybody is now doing internet. It's mm. now social media, this and that. So we grappled with that for some months. But like for a person that I am, I'm so determined that if I make up my mind on something, there is no going back. Right. You understand? And I always live my life based on a philosophy. The greatest achievement of those who made it through personal effort is their refusal to accept defeat. So I mm. face a lot of challenges in the journey of my life. And you refuse to According to Kamara Lai, I always try to ensure that what makes a man or even a woman to succeed in life is your ability to weather the storm mm. and stay focused. And that has been very, very helpful in the journey so far. 
financially it's been tough because uh, we, uh, we didn't have anybody to say i want to put this money down mm. to take off mm -hmm. it has been like uh, myself and my family trying to make sure that we have to this brand must succeed and even live after us i don't care what is going to happen this brand must succeed you know That's and, in my i mean opinion. when we did our first edition uh, the community embraced it because we don't compromise one thing that we never compromised is quality you know and integrity you understand because the guarantee trust bank that i referred to when i worked in guarantee trust bank one thing that really attracted me to the bank most especially was their uh, core values the core values of integrity of excellence of service of honesty of interpersonal relationship of people and innovativeness so anybody that lays i i had that ambition or that dream that anybody that lays his hand on a copy of the elegance magazine must have that impression and express that impression that this is beautiful and that has been our i mean what i can call our success story so far we have not i will tell you and i will shock you mr color Wale. <laughs> we have not made a dime from the elegant i can imagine I mean, we run a so, tv station so, so we, we say it. but we are not deterred and what i would say at this juncture is just a plea to our people most especially africans and nigerians you know we should learn from our our host the americans you know and try to support ourselves are you with me mm. we should learn to support ourselves because a business that a service that is paid for is the business that succeeds and triumphs. That's correct. Thrives. Mm. So many people will want you, for instance, or you know, I say I do blogging. Mm -hmm. So they want you to come and cover event. They don't want to pay for it. And cover it for free. So <laughs> imagine that an event for two hours or three hours. Oh my goodness. If I want to go and so support you for free, I will have known I did issue that I'm going to support, support this person. Person. Yeah, yeah. Correct. But for people that, I mean, there is no any yeah, attachment yeah, or what, what, no whatever. business relationship yeah. like myself and Afrocentric. <laughs> and they want me to come and carry camera <laughs> for the next five, five hours and say, oh, shake hands. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, okay, so even if we're going to um, talk about hours, you know, uh, this country is a capitalist country. Yes. Um, they don't waste time on holidays. Yeah. If it falls oh. on a Monday, and you, you, that's the Monday. You take that Monday. If it falls on a Thursday, mm -hmm. you take that Thursday off. You come back to work on Friday. Absolutely. You know they they don't unlike Nigeria when it falls on a Thursday. Uh, and they say, you have oh, like four days holidays. And then and you take that Thursday. Uh, and salary Friday, is going. Saturday, they still collect their salary. No, <laughs> no, not in America. So and so if you see someone at least making an effort. The best way to say thank you is to honor them with something, a substance. A absolutely, gift. absolutely. You know, um, I think it's the ideal thing to do. Mm. Unfortunately, um, there's a lot of us in our community that want freebies, you know, mm. and then they want to be successful. Mm. It's you very sad. You can't uh, put down someone's business and thinking that you're going to, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. climb up the ladder. It doesn't mm -hmm. work that way. at all. You know, so it's it's always good to. For one another may i use that opportunity to also encourage the africans that are watching us today i mean hearing from mr toriola here uh his journey and we have our own story the moment i bring mr wale or even someone interviews me i want to know deep down what we go through just to bring the show to you people uh you'll understand that it takes more than just effort more than it it, it costs money and so um if we don't get the support from you if he doesn't get the support needed from you those things you see in the magazine that you love to see, that clothes that you see that person wearing, it's because someone took the time to take a picture or to record that person and post them on their blogs or in the magazine. And it costs money to print. You can't be doing the work and then you just enjoying the benefit for free. Mm -hmm. Uh, like they say in Yoruba, where, where I'm from, um, <laughs> in Nigeria, they say, if I'm funny, like, oh, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. um, okay, low, I'm funny, mm -hmm. that means if you're ever going to give something to someone, mm -hmm. no matter how, your mm -hmm. hand is always going to be uh, up above, lifted, yeah. right? So you you elevate it just to give someone. Mm -hmm. So if you're a giver, definitely you'll be lifted for sure. Mm -hmm. So please, I uh, just want to encourage you to support the brand, support, 
what we do for the community, what we do. I mean, it, it, we don't we don't get paid for it. I, I'm telling you all right now, you know, you know, with all honesty, we don't get paid for it. But it takes sacrifice mm -hmm. and it takes the love of your community to continue in this journey. It started way back in Nigeria. I'm sure Nigerians appreciate um, branding and they appreciate marketing and one thing i need you guys to know is that the money spent on such thing as uh, branding marketing all of those things could be written off in taxes be it to um elegance magazine or to the blog or to afrocentric television anything that is community based you could find talk to your CPA. Maybe that's one thing we're missing. Maybe that's mm -hmm. why we are stiff. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what we're holding back to support, you know, the vision to help boost our um, Business. uh, businesses and in the community. And don't forget, we are the ones trying hard to change that narrative. We are the one bringing to light the 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 people, the organizations, you know, individuals, the businesses that are helping you know, push our names and our images up to the limelight. We can't give anybody else. If you can even tell, the mainstream media will not cover your story, mm -hmm. not to talk about publishing it or, or putting it into, yeah. you know, but their media the spaces limelight. like that. You have to be the one to write the story. We try to change that narrative. So I'm, I'm urging you guys to support what we do not just the afrocentric tv i'm talking about the elegance the afro vibes the wazobia mm -hmm. the you know those little small businesses mm -hmm. that are here and they are doing great you can tell not that they are little to nothing um to write home about with the yahoo boys they called them before <laughs> they are no longer there or if they are but it's not as significant that it used to be mm -hmm. people are catching up to it now they're changing narrative the entertainment industry are taking over. They are mm -hmm. saying we are doing yeah. it. African is we, we become um, a force to reckon with. You it's know, we thing. now we are having a voice, and it is because we are projecting what exactly. you do. Yeah. You know, we are telling them the po yeah. the positive um, aspect of your life, oh, of yeah. your business, of your organization, of your community, what you're doing to impact others. That is who we are. That is what we do. So when this man was talking about his journey, I was just like. You know, we can resonate with this. This is quite our journey as well. So it, that brought me to saying this. I forgot the fact that I'm the host today, you know, and this is the gentleman that I'm, um, uh, that is our guest. And, and I'm glad, you know, he was able to join us today to talk about the Elegance magazine. And he was there also to support us, uh, and not just on the yeah, red carpet, absolutely. and also, um, um, you know, during the, the award event, show. Yeah. What was that, your experience during that uh, main event of the award show, the Ahead Award? Oh, oh, thank you once again uh, for that great question. Well, uh, without any exaggeration and without any sense of hypocrisy. Please, we can take it back. Uh, we can take it. <clears throat> Positive, negative, we that, will take it. That we, just award, to get us better. Yeah, that award was a top notch. Thank you. Uh, I've attended two of your awards oh, wow. in recent times. Okay. Uh, the one you did one, I think last uh, year, either October. Or it's October. Yeah. yeah. So I attended yeah. that one. Attended the one earlier in the year last year. Oh I think wow! You did two hours last, uh -huh, year. last year we did two. So yeah. by that wow. time we haven't really connected. I know. I know. Then we met again. So at we the, met again uh, at. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, I mean, I give it. I give it to you guys. Thank you. Uh, and I give it to God on your behalf. Thank you. It's, it's a great award. Of all the awards I've been watching, you know, everybody, a lot of organizations give awards, but there are some organizations that are known only for the award. They don't support the community, they don't do but they, yeah, they just, come up just to come up and say we want to give awards. Mm. You know, forgetting that it doesn't work that way. Mm. Uh, people will not even take you serious because they will look at it as if maybe you are just being selfish. But when you have also contributed something to the community, mm. you have also I mean, spent your time, your resources, even without expecting any financial benefit in return, they are going to rise up to you or, or for you in terms of need. That's what people don't know. And that is one thing that has really encouraged us as a brand, as a, the Elegance brand. We don't also put money first. Like I told you, we have never made a dime since we started this brand. So, yeah. The advert, the little money we made from advert is being it's used. Good it doesn't even cover the printing sure. cost. Mm. Because I will tell you, a 200 copies of uh, the Elegance magazine, 
an addition cost us almost four thousand dollars so you know if, if even if you get let me get something straight even if you get some money even if you get up to four thousand dollars back yeah from sponsors or support or about whatever, or whatever the uh uh human efforts exactly you know, um the time you yeah spent. yeah um, i'm sure if you if you calculate how many hours it took you to come up with this publication and the duration oh, it took um, don't even go there. <laughs> um and you monetize that mm -hmm. uh, it will it's worth much more you, you so that's it right, guys sir. i'm still telling you yeah. you need to understand what this is about mm -hmm. this is about you really it's mm -hmm. about you know um projecting the mm -hmm. african image in yeah. a positive light mm -hmm. you know this is a beautiful <laughs> magazine look at look at you can mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. have guests in the house Mm -hmm. that would um come to your house and you show them this yeah. they would, this this show we entertain them you know it's um these are the two editions that you currently have right there. yeah so we are preparing for the third the now. third so one beautiful we almost concluding on the third. awesome awesome so, thank you so, so, so back much. to the award uh, mr Kola Oli, honestly i just want to encourage you keep the flag flying thank you keep researching because uh I used to listen to one of my professors while I was in the university then. He would say, you must continue to hold uh, the, the, the... Yeah, of course, that uh, you have to sharpen the saw, continue to sharpen mm. the saw. Mm. And what does that mean is that we should continue to renew, I mean, renovate, innovate, re-engineer, research, and come out with the, I mean, latest, I mean, uh stops in the area of technology mm -hmm. in the area of uh people management and mm -hmm. other things that can i mean uplift or give a facelift to whatever we are doing so because we are living in a very dynamic world you understand mm -hmm. and that's the kind of advice that i'm giving indirectly to afrocentric you guys are doing thank pretty you. well thank you as a matter of fact you know but i mean you must not go to sleep uh, efforts <laughs> must continue to go on to ensure that you guys are coming up with, I mean, uh, cutting edge innovations that will keep you in the front line, you know. So I must give it to you. That award was well organized. My wife was even commending you for the lightning, you know. Oh. <laughs> that, the, the, that was the first time that I guess maybe there was a feedback in your previous award. Okay. Maybe people noted it and they yeah, got we, we always because the the, the stage it was was the best Thank of you. all you there. It was so clear. Thank Even you. the few videos that uh, my daughter used phones to do was like uh, it was the real Nokia camera yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah, what is it called that was used Thank to you. record it. Thank you. I love that and I could also listen to I mean uh, side talks. Uh, good ones, of course. That in fact, these people really mean business, and you could see the turnout. Yes, I would say that was the first time you the last award was not as huge as that. So, the previous one was a lot more number because the space is much bigger. Okay, so okay, look like it was okay. not too many. Okay, people, but, but yeah. this one was properly yeah. organized, yeah, well you. managed, and even in terms of the only thing I will also say is in terms of time, you know, when we wanted to start. People were outside. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> we just needed to, uh, to, to make sure everything in. is, is But generally, right, because exactly. there is no thing, you know, nothing in this world that is 100% perfect. Right. I will right. give it to you. Thank you did well. You are, but you are the best. Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. now. is the best. All and right, fantastic. Like I was telling uh, Pastor, I'm uh, Mr. Wally, Afrocentric is the big deal right now. Thank you. As far as online TV is concerned. Because the way you support the community without playing much without laying much emphasis on money and anything in return is huge you understand i've been i mean this would be my second time of coming here though the last time i came to support you guys for, mm -hmm. the, for the press conference, press conference yeah. you know so and that is where life should be right. i'm here today now there's some tv station even the mainstream tv stations will tell you have to bring them for <laughs> You got what I'm saying? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. But thank I you. want to appreciate you yeah, guys. You. And another thing is the synergy between you, Mr. Wale, Shegun, and uh, oh, Tukumbo, yeah, the team. Yeah. Olympio <laughs> is, is quite phenomenal. Thank I you. love the love. May God continue to give Amen. you understanding, Amen. wisdom, to 
to manage one another and mm -hmm. humility because Thank that's you. very important. It is key. You understand? You. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Congratulations Thank once you. again Thank you on so much. the Africans on us award. So we, we know what to do next to, <laughs> to make it even bigger and better. Absolutely. So before I let you go, sir, um, I, I know you're a father, you're a husband. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so um, how is Father's Day in your house? Just, you know, briefly, let's just start. Uh, oh, well, uh, yeah, it's Father's Day. And I mean, of course, I, I always look forward to Father's Day because every responsible father will look forward to Father's Day. Mm. Even though, like the uh, our father that uh, just had this uh, the previous, uh, the previous interview, interview uh said or remarked uh we people don't place much premium on father's day like the mm. mother's day but we are the one that should i mean let people know that we are also worth celebrating you understand if you call yourself a father and you are not there for your children you are just a father by nomenclature <laughs> not by practice right and whatever you do by title without necessarily doing it intentionally and a, by purpose is worthless you know what i'm saying so i will encourage fathers out there that let your children feel you mm. let them know that the your father's a great life. time for them you know so discipline when it's necessary but make sure discipline that in love in love mm. yeah correct in love and do every make sure that you do everything that is necessary as a responsible and good father and the society will be better if every man, every father, plays their godly, I mean, endowed role or godly yeah, instructed role and responsibilities. The society will be better and the community will also be better for it. Yeah. Because when we have good fathers, we have good families. That's good great. families will lead to good community. Good community will lead to good society. Good society will lead to good country. Good countries will lead to good world. And so in totality. It starts within the family. Exactly. That's why right. charity begins at all. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. We're grateful. We're running out of time, guys. Yeah, I know. And you heard Mr. Toriola of the elegance. 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 Don't forget. <laughs> we will see at the end. Magazine. And then you can follow him on, on social media. I'm sorry for cutting you uh, short, sir. Yeah, so we are also on social media. Yes. Uh, we are on YouTube mm -hmm. and uh, we are also on Instagram. We so are what's your handle to... on there? Okay, for Instagram, we are at the Elegance World. At the Elegance, Elegance World. World, don't forget the Z, just like uh, our host is yes. emphasizing. <laughs> please, you us at home at the Elegance World. We at just hit 20,000 followers. Congratulations, yeah, just about a month ago. Nice. And we, nice. we are grateful to and people like you, we are grateful to all our viewers. Better. All our, I mean, so on YouTube, we just started our YouTube. And we are trying to perfect it, but it's raw, it's up and running. Awesome. So the handle is at the elegance world also. Okay. And we're also on Facebook. The elegance. The elegance. The elegance. Okay. Facebook. Follow us on Facebook as well. I'll research that. Yeah. Now. Yeah. D-E-E. -E, then E-L-E-G-A-N-T-Z. Fantastic. The elegance. You've heard it all. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with us. Yeah. You know, I still have to come back to close, but give us a sec. You know, we have to pay our sponsors, of course. So yeah, um, sure. stay tuned. Yeah. We will be right back. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless. Well, welcome back to my community on Afrocentric Television Channel 27.9. I remain your host, Kolawale Akinmoyewa. I'm sure you have enjoyed the segments with us today with Pastor Henry Odeneye of Dagunduro Prayer Ministry and also our fascinating um, guest, Mr. Karade Toriola of the Elegance Magazine. You know, we've said so many significant things as regards the award. Uh, the feedback was phenomenal. I appreciate that from both the pastor and Mr. Toriola. And also, we have talked about how we can support our community. You know, the Elegance Magazine brings to you what we call the publication, not just the publication, but, you know, advertise with them so your business can grow. Um, it's a lifestyle magazine. You can do fashion on there. Um, and in real time, you'll see all of these things. You know, if you want to be known, if you want to be trend, these are avenues where you can. And again, on Afrocentric Television, you know, you can, of course, follow us on YouTube, Afrocentric Television, just write the name in full. Afrocentric is with a K at the end, not a C. 
and also um, you know the Instagram is Afrocentric TV and um, YouTube is Afrocentric Television and then Facebook is Afrocentric TV as well. So we need your support. We need you to um, always join us. You know, the my community show airs on Thursdays and Saturdays. Thursdays at um, 8 p.m. and on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Um, please join us then. You know, tune in. It's a local TV station. And on YouTube, of course, you can get a snippet up on YouTube as well. Um, don't forget our award, the main award, the EVA Award for Excellent Values and Achievements in the Houston area is coming up. We need you to visit our website at www.afrocentrictelevision or afrocentrictv.com, you know, where you can get on there to vote, to nominate your, for different categories, whoever you think is well-deserving. This is the one where you get to nominate. This is where you give power to the people, and then the power lies in your hands. So please do not forget to do that. And until next time, I remain your host, Kolawale Akinmoyewa. Happy Father's Day to you all.